Oh my god, Spice Girls. I think. No, that's not Spice Girls. She had a kitty cat, apparently. Got your number. <coughs> that's funny. Why is there Bibles everywhere? Aww. Adventures... The cat? <laughs> That's funny. What does it say? I can't read what it says. Bratmobile, cool school. Still can't figure out. What the combo is for that. It's not written anywhere. Look whose dad is weird. Mine. Soft face. Hey, you want to see Pulp Fiction? How old are these kids? Like, 15? Came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it. So either it's good or we can be fun. Like, it's just a good dinner for us. Apparently, according to Todd, it's pretty hardcore. I guess Umer Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle. How do these kids know what heroin is? Like, I, I mean, I know what it was when I was a kid, but... Still, this is the 90s. Don't barf. <laughs> Ooh, is that blood? Oh. Hair dye. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited, and the moment was gone. Okay, so she's a lesbian, and she doesn't know how to handle coming on to her friends. I get it. Alright, Fred, let's go. 
Since I can't figure out what the combination is to the locker. Enough of that. All right, Fred, let's go. <coughs> I'm guessing this is the parents' room. See, just looking at what happened, it looks like they left in a hurry. All the drawers are pulled out. Everything is, like, not unpacked. London. Dear Mom and Dad and Sam, I am in the channel. I'm going back to London. This time I'm going to Brussels and Belgium. She keeps talking about the channel. That's cool. Yeah, that's a coaster. Escape from Ghost Mansion. Oops. I didn't put it back, but okay. Take your time. I'm glad to have it in good hands. Rick. Leaves of grass? Mm. Ew. At least the power's on. Oh my god. What the fuck was that? That is a 90s picture if I've ever seen one. Oh, honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had over down periods. It came a bit of a way of life, actually. You get used to each other. You live your own lives. So they were having trouble in the bedroom. That's always nice. I'm sorry this isn't helping, is it? Don't worry. Terry will get over whatever's distracting him. 
things will go back to normal after Sam being distant as a teenager. Hmm. <coughs> In the meantime, though, this controlled burn that sounds like quite uh, like a, quite the adventure. Let's cut to the chase. This new ranger they sent. That's what I want to hear about. Ranger Rick. Ah! Just tell me everything and send pictures. I want the whole package. Wait, that sounded wrong. Keep your chin up until Terry gets out of his slump. And in the meantime, write more letters for your old friend Carol. Okay, so Rick is the guy that sent her this book. Okay, so hmm. So she must be not getting what she wants in the bedroom, so she's looking for somewhere else to get it. Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, the Fugitive, all the President's Men, Inside Edition, Sound of Music, Silence of the Lambs, Bridge Over Witcher. Mm. Alright, Fred, let's go. That doesn't look creepy at all. Hey Sam, you're asking my JROTC ribbons what his for. Oh, he's in the... Okay. Ghost Hunter Journal. Hmm. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall, and I ran out of the corner, no one was there. Faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs said hello, did not investigate further. Huh. Poured milk from the carton fridge. It was spoiled already. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. Suddenly begin to feel cold. Build protective pillow fort. Lonnie and I employ a Ouija board. Oh, for God's sake. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Many sightings unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in the attic. Is this around the same time Ghost Hunters came out? Or Ghostbusters came out? So this is, I guess, my room. You can use my room if you want, I won't be needing it anymore. and valuation. Hmm. Oh, Richard Pattermack. Is that the guy that I'm guessing that she's doing or something? Interesting. Huh. 
Halloween show, the misfits, either. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad's situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, how do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Hmm. <clears throat> Whoop. No, Fred! No! Had a Fred situation there. Heavens to Betsy. Nothing can stop me, decides, stay away. For Sam? Hmm. Skills for healthy lifestyles. Holy crap, I was in the library and noticed something in the corner. I found a secret passage. It had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Oh. So, I got out of this room, out to the hall, into the bathroom, into the closet. And then I take... Oh, I have to go into their closet. Okay, it's through their parents' rooms. All right, Fred, let's get going. Wait, I forgot to click this. <laughs> All right, Fred. The fuck was that? Hidden compartments found. Oh, does that mean something's gonna chase me and I gotta hide? Oh man. Alright guys, I gotta end it for today. Um, make sure you subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thanks! <laughs>